All right, thank you, Logan. Well, many of us might be ringing in the new year by scraping ice off of our windshields and walkways tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, just as the wintry mix, Logan talking about moving into the viewing area overnight. The storm is supposed to leave a layer of ice over everything to start off the new year. WGEM's Frank Healy is live in Canton, Missouri with how people are getting ready to deal with the storm. Frank. City officials tell me in just a couple hours they'll have road crews out here treating these roads for people who might be driving sometime overnight. But some people here are saying that they just want to avoid being or having to drive in the storm at all. I want to get there before it starts. They said it was supposed to get really bad at midnight, so freezing rain, snow, fun stuff. Christine Fulton of Stephenville, Missouri, says when she heard storms were on the way, she drove to Canton to get groceries for the weekend to avoid having to drive in bad conditions. I got full-time four-wheel drive, but I don't want to test it. <laughs> I want to be safe. Mayor Jared Phillips of Canton, Missouri, says they had their street crews resting up ahead of the long New Year's Day shifts. Public Works crew will start out uh, in the overnight hours, uh, keeping an eye on our hills, and some of our overpasses and stuff. He says as the storm moves in overnight, it's important that people are aware and make plans so they don't get caught in the ice. Uh, it's important we want to encourage uh, people to be cautious tonight as they may be leaving uh, celebrations at individuals' homes and stuff. Of course, you don't want to see the drinking and driving, but add bad weather on top of it. It could definitely be a bad combination. For Fulton, she says having an accident isn't the way you want to ring in a new year. I hope a lot of people are safe. Don't go out in a bunch of parties and wait till after midnight when it starts and say, oh my, I got to go home because you might not make it there. We want everybody to be safe and get home safe. And elsewhere here in northeast Missouri, road crews in Hannibal say they've treated a lot of city streets with a brine ahead of the storm. And they say as long as things don't get below negative 10, uh, which they apparently shouldn't, that the brine should hold up to help the streets be a little bit better there. Live in Canton, Missouri, Frank Healy, WGEM News.